Good evening. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello, Kenya. Good evening. Christopher. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good. I am. I am praying. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, right? So if you're okay, do it like this. Are you okay? Pretty good? Yeah, I am pretty good. All right. What about you, Hector? Hector, are you there? Fine, teacher. Sorry. Uh, oh, don't worry. Yeah, That's sorry. No problem with the microphone, teacher. Uh, okay. Very good. Thanks for letting me know about it. I thank you. Hello, hello, Jose. Good evening. Well, we are almost starting. I hope that you could see the video in WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so that you um, got familiarized with the topic today. And you see, we're going to start in a couple of minutes, okay? So that we can um, continue learning a second language. We are going to wait, okay, a couple of minutes more, okay? So that the rest of the uh, participant can get into this class. Uh, let me see, I have, we're almost starting, don't worry. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, solo le quería eh, comentar algo. Eh, voy saliendo del trabajo. Voy a ir conectado en, en, en el tráfico. Por si no puedo responder por algo, eh, yo le responderé un poquito más, tarde, más tardecito. Uh, all right. Pero, pero sí, ir atento de la clase. Ok, ok. Ok. Thanks for letting me know about it, José Enrique. Thank you. Uh, Fátima, hello, Fátima. Okay, Fátima, is so here. Well, uh, I think it is time, right, to start. I hope uh, do, that you are more than ready to start a new journey, a new class a new English class, and uh, I hope that you are ready to to practice, right? Because that's why you are here, because you want to practice English. Is that right? Okay, okay. Oh, all right, very good. Now, listen, we're gonna go over um, the first activity. Okay, we're, remember that we only have a, um, one hour, 60 minutes to practice the, the lesson. Okay, and it is quite important for me to take advantage of the course, okay? Uh, you know, yesterday we were talking about different dates, right? Dates and, and special dates, right? Holidays like Halloween, like Christmas, like et cetera birthday and, and and everything about it and there was a conversation and we were practicing do you remember yes i yeah, remember you, you remember about it right and today we are going to try to finish with the first um, part of, of 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 this week and today we are going to go over um a reading related to a birthday, uh, to birthday celebrations, right? And in, in different countries, you know, there are different customs, there are different uh, people, and, and you know, sometimes their customs are a little bit different from the ones that we have. And, and, and today we're going to see something, something like that. Okay, don't worry. Do not worry if you are not able to read everything. I will display uh, the video so that you could see a little bit better, but don't worry if you are not able to read this part because later we are going to have another, another I mean, another activity. 
Well, we are going to go over it, okay? And what are you going to do on your birthday? You know, the yesterday or the day before yesterday, you told me about, about your birthday, right? Now we are going to read something related to activities people can um, develop in, in a birthday uh, activity. Listen to it, please. The custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. Listen Kyoto. carefully. It is better if you listen. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Mm -hmm. Philippe Jolie. Philippe Paris. Jolie. I think it's the last one, right? I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right, so we have like the presentation about the topic uh, tonight. I mean, we're going to move uh, to another topic, but, you know, we need to finish with this one related to birthday uh, activities and dates. Okay, now if I ask you, if I ask you, what do you do in, in, in what do you do when you have your birthday, uh, Alba? What do you do? What do you usually do when you have your birthday? Is it do you celebrate your birthday? Yes, that's right, Alba. Yes, yes. yes. you do. Do you, yes. do, you do you prepare a cake or do you buy a cake? Do you buy a cake or, or do you prepare it? It's on January 12th. Uh, it's on January 12th, okay. You have birth, uh, I mean, you have a, a cake? Um, no. No, no, you don't. You don't like maybe ice cream or another snack? Ice cream. Ice cream, oh, it sounds good. All right, yes. so hey, you see, now, over here, we are going to go over uh, the, the reading activity, okay? And uh, this, this is live for you to, for you to learn, uh, or for you to listen to um, activities that people uh, usually have when having their birthday. And I have, um, I have this part, let me see, so that you could see the information uh, from the video. This is the information from the video, okay? And we're gonna check, um, we're gonna check, uh, give me one second, please. Uh, reading comprehension, okay? We're gonna check reading comprehension. Can you see the information pretty well? Yes or no? Yes, no? Yeah. Yeah, can you read well? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, I will ask some of you to read, okay? So that we can, we can, we can have a different participation on here. Hey, Alma, could you please uh, help me with the rating? Alma or Alba? Uh, Alma, Alma Yvette. Okay. Elena Buenaventura. Is Alma out here? Or not, 
Well, I will try with another person. Let me see. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, I could notice that uh, Alma has some problems. Teacher. Tell me, Gloria. Teacher, can I participate? Sure. Thank you, Gloria. Well, uh, Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21st time or 21 times, once for each year. It's <laughs> an old custom. Some people pour on the ears just once, but my friends are every traditional. Wow, could you... Can you imagine that, that tradition? Now, whenever you have your birthday, some people like pull your ear, right? Like if you are 21, they 21 times, okay? People pull your ears. That's the way they do it. So that's a tradition, right? They pull on, uh, on, on, on the person's ear. Okay, now let us go back to the activity. Let me see. Let's go back to the activity. Let me see. It's over here. Right now that we read everything. Now tell me what is what is the answer over here? You you have to answer true or false. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false? True. That is true, right? So true. according to what we read, that is true. Now I will I will go over the next. Okay, and, and another person will help me with the, with the lecture, all right? Okay, let us try to do it a little, a little bit fast. I have, let me see. Well, actually, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this, this guy, or this lady, it's a lady, right? Yang Qing Shi, Taipei. Now, let me see. Uh, Carlos, Carlos Ernesto, I wonder if you are ready now. Yeah, yeah. All right, Carlos, please do me the favor to read that part. Yeah. Tomorrow is my 60th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I probably going to get some money. I'm lucky. Envelopes from my relative. My mother is going to cook knowledge. Knowledge are, are, long, are, are for a long life. It's going to go. Oh, okay, but thank you very much. A long, long life. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, listen carefully. Remember to, to uh, pronounce I'm. Oh. I'm, I'm I have remember it's very important, right? Lucky. Lucky. Envelopes. Oops. Relatives. Relatives. Noodles. I have a question. Relatives. Tell me. <clears throat> what is the guy's envelope? Envelope is like uh, you know about letters. When, when you write down letters, okay, Not you this. have you have Not uh, yeah, you have to use envelopes. So, so envelopes are sobres. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Hey, let's see what's going on with the second one. Yangshin, Yangshin is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. False. That is false. 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 Uh, that is false, according to false. what we read. Okay, we are going to go over the next. Someone else is going to help me with the, with the reading. Remember, it's very important for me to listen to you. Uh, and I hope, I think you could, you can see the information okay. very well. Yes. Uh, oh. Cecibel, Cecibel, please help me with this part. Mr. I miss Aoki Yoto. Mas who's by is going to be tomorrow? Sorry. No. Uh -huh. Tomorrow in Japan, the 16th birthday 
is Kalel Kalreiki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life to children. Often have something red as a person. What are our children going to have? You are red. Have in beds. In beds. All right. Now, there are some words that I, I would really appreciate you can repeat. Husband. 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 60. 16. No, 60. 60. 16. No, this is 60. 60. 16. Yeah, 60. 60. All right, that's better, Cecilia. Uh, Japan. 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 Birthday. Birthday. Let me see, I saw, in, ah, give. Give. No, no, give. Give me? Give. Give. Give, that's right, give something give. red. Very yeah. good. Excellent, Cecilia. I really like the way you are uh, practicing today. Now, let us Thank go you, Let us go back to the activity. Okay, let me see. I need to erase <laughs> this info. All right, uh, let's see what's going on with the information. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red, true or false? True. 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 What is he going to receive? Mm. What is he going uh, to receive? A hat in a vest. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In a vest. Um, Fantastic. Very good. Now let us go over the next. Wow, well, you are doing a great. Let me see. Someone is chatting and tell me. Tell me, Susana. Hola, este. No puedo ver este lo que está compartiendo. No. So I, I, I don't know, but. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, you you have to uh, you have to get out of the of the session, and then you you can enter once again. Oh, but I I will see. I will try. I will see if it is my problem, and I will tr I will try to solve it. Okay, and then you tell me if you are able to see it or not. Now, what about now? What? Yes. Ahora sí. Oh, okay, thank, you. thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Now we solve it, right? Now let's go over this part. And Susana, uh, uh, do you want to help me with this part? Uh, me? Please. Okay. I'm going to be sorry next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends <laughs> out to dinner. In friends, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I now it's the opposite people take you out. All right, so that was really good. Hey, I, I can see that you are still uh, need to practice the numbers, okay? I think there will be some other uh, courses in which you will practice numbers once again. This is 30. 30. Uh, I think invite. Invite. Uh -huh. Let's see. I know. I, I know. Now. It's the opposite. The opposite. I, guess of it. I think those were the, the ones. Now. Let's see, according to what we've read, Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. False. It's false. false. Uh, it is false. Okay, false. so if you say false, it's false. And, wow, let's see. Let's see what's going on. We're going to check the answers, okay? We're going to check the answers. Let me see. Oops. I'm having problems with this today. I don't know why, but let me see. Okay, the first one, I, I don't know. Are you able to see it well? 
The first one is correct. The second one was correct also. The third one is correct. The fourth oh, is all right. And wow, you did a great job. So you got another thing in the class. Now, uh, let me see. Let me see. Because now I think we finished with this part and we, are, we need to move on to uh, uh, the next sec section. All right. Let me see. This is the 115. We need to move on to one, 116. This is 116, right? So uh, the, the topic for today, now this we're gonna we're gonna have another topic, right? So in the lesson objective in over here is that by the end of this session, you're going to be uh, familiarized with the parts of the body. Okay. Now I think everybody, I think everybody knows some vocabulary about parts of the body. And I will ask someone to tell me about it. Um, Jenny Carolina. Is Jenny no. Carolina now here in the class? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, Jenny, can you mention some parts of, of the body in English? Uh, the parts of the body, head. Yeah. Uh, uh, arms. We have, uh, how many arms do we have? How many? What? One arm, arm two arms, three arms, arm. how many? Two arms. Oh, we have two. All right. What two else? Arm, two legs. We have two legs. Uh, uh, eyes. Eyes brown. No. Uh, we have brown eyes. All right. Uh, mouth. Ear. Have, all right. Ears. Ears, ears. also. Pretty good. Excellent. Now. Let's go over, let's go over a, a video, okay? Now I have a video in here. Okay, I think I will open it in, in YouTube. I think it's better because over here, I cannot see it very well, but I will open it in YouTube. I think it's better. Now let's see. Okay, now do me the favor to uh, pronounce and to repeat the vocabulary at home. Tooth. Okay. Teeth, tooth, chin, teeth, back, chin, shoulder, chest, stomach, stomach, throat, throat, neck, neck, wrist, wrist, arm, arm, elbow, elbow, thumb, thumb, hand, hand, finger, finger, fingers. Fingers, plural, leg. Right? leg, knee, knee, ankle, ankle, foot, foot, feet, and feet, toe, toe, toes, toes. Okay, so you see, there, there, there you can see the information. Let Make sure see. that you memorize this book. Now, let us try to. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing. This is my head. Uh, all right. And pointing to your arm. Now, let me see. Let me see. I have some of you here. Okay. Now, um, Edita, is Edita over here? Hello, Edita. I am not here. Maybe. No, Ed Ed Edita is not in the class. What about, uh, yes. let me see. Javier Wilson. Hi, teacher. Hello, Wilson. Uh, Wilson, le, where is your head? Can you touch your head? Uh, oh, but Wilson, if you are able to activate your camera, it would be better, right? But, but if you have problems with camera, it's all right. Now, but, uh, uh, Wilson, please, it's better. Let, let me see. Read this part, please. Can you pronounce the vocabulary? 
arm. Uh, uh, look, look over here. The the, the hand. Hell. The hell. Uh -huh. Face. The eye. Okay, it's eye. And we have two eyes, right? The eyes. eyes. Ear, 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 nose, nose, nose. I have a telomere. Where is this? The nose. Okay, the nose are here and over here. The mouth. The mouth. Nose. Okay, and inside the our mouth. mouth we have the teeth right one tooth two teeth singular and plural okay we have teeth then what do we have here two this is the chin chin, uh, chin. all right thank you thank you very much wilson now uh, i wonder if uh, silvia carolina can help us right now with the vocabulary. Yes, great teacher. Uh, all right, Sylvia. Can you please help me with this one? Back. Back. Shoulder. 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 Chest, all right. Stomach. Stomach, Mac. stomach. Stomach. All right, what else? Thumb. Thumb. This, these are thumb. our thumbs, our thumbs up. Okay. Thumb. Hand. The hand. Finger. Fingers. Fingers. This throat. is throat. Neck. 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 Leg. 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 Knee. Inside. No logro distinguirme. Okay, ankle. Okay, ankle. They okay. have foot and feet. All right. Foot and feet. Let me see. So, sorry, teacher. Two oh. and two. Suele la resolución al video, teacher. Okay. I, I try, but I, I couldn't. Let me en la, see. En la llavecita de, de YouTube. Ahí dice 1024. Okay, let me see. I will, I, try. Know, I, I will try. I will try. Let me see if I am able to do so. Ahí en la línea de tiempo abajito está un como una una tuerca y ahí dice poner en 1024 por ahí. Ahí ahí le parece. Oh, ah, right here, right? Ahí es configuración 1024. Ahí está automático. Dele ya automático. Ahí le va a salir 1024. Ah, no, 720, póngale. Oh, thank you. Sí, 720, 720p más resolución. I think it's very... Oh, thank you very much. Se hace más clara la imagen. Yeah, thank you. Hey. No sé si se ve bien la, la imagen y las letras. Fantastic. Sí. Hey, thanks for helping me. Uh, <laughs> thanks for helping me, right? So, let's see. Now that we that we have like the different vocabulary over here, now that we got familiarized, you know, I sent a video today, and uh, in the video, let me see, I will stop sharing right now. All right, I will continue over here so that we can like move on with the class okay now that we yeah, that we saw the video okay uh, let me see because it's it's facing some problem now okay now now that we saw the vocabulary about the body we're gonna go over the next six section, okay? And the section says that, let me see. 
that uh, at the end of the next part, uh, we're going to learn how to use have plus a noun and feel plus an adjective to express health problems, okay? So when you, when you have a pain in your body or maybe you got the flu, you don't feel uh, good, then there are some expressions that we need to learn, okay? So that's why we are going to go to the next part. Okay, and in the next part, we're gonna see the full video, okay? Have plus now plus feel, I mean now feel, plus adjective and in a conversation, I think. Uh... And a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Let's That's see. too bad. I think it's better if but we see maybe it I can in, help. In, in... Let's have lunch. Sorry, I think it is better if we see it in YouTube, right? And I will try to... Let's have lunch at oh, that this new is Japanese right. restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel bad. Okay, we're gonna see this, this conversation. I hope that you can see it very well. Okay, now yes, right? Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Now, later you're gonna tell me what's going on with some vocabulary. Here Better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on okay, this. Give me one second, cause we couldn't listen to it. Backache. Maybe you have the. F now can you see the info? I have a headache. Hello, people. Can you see the video very well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. Let us try. Let us try. Let us try. I don't feel well. I, let's uh, get. Hey. If I ask you, how do you feel today? And if you don't feel uh, that good, then you say, I don't feel well, teacher. I'm sick. I have a headache. I have a backache. I have a toothache. So you will see some vocabulary here. Now, pay special attention. Started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. All right. Okay, I will ask the people to reproduce the conversation. Okay, people who haven't participated. I have Sandra. Sandra, uh, you will you will play the Hi, role teacher. for uh, San is Sandra here? Hello. Okay, Sandra is on here, right? Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra, you are going to help me to read the first part, Brian's part. And uh, let me see, Christopher Raul, you are going to help me with the with the Kenichi's part. Okay, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Well, I think Sandra is facing some problems uh, with, with microphone, right? Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What? The matter? Well, I have a delay and a backlash. <coughs> Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little fancy for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a good idea. That, Ryan. I feel better already. 
I feel better already. That's that was really good. Thanks for for reading this part. Now listen, I highly recommend you to see the video once again and to practice the conversation as many times as possible. Okay, so the more you practice, the more you learn. Okay, now I will play the video and we will continue learning something else. Okay? Now let's take a look at the example. Let us on take this a look chart. at some Have examples. Plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. All right. So let us make another pause over here because it's very important for us to practice the vocabulary. Well, everybody will repeat, but not everybody is going to activate the microphone. Okay. So, but I will ask two people. I mean, let me see one, two, three, like four people to help me to read this part. Okay. 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 Now, Diana, Diana, okay, repeat, teacher. repeat after me. Diana, Diana is over there. Is Diana there? Yes, Diana, teacher, I okay. hear. Diana Gabriela is over here. Thanks. Now, Diana, you will repeat after me, okay? Okay. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a headache. 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 All right, that's fair. I have a backache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I have the flu. Okay, that's really, really nice, uh, Diana. Uh, now, listen, everybody. Diana is helping me with the class, okay? But that doesn't mean that the rest of you are, is not going to repeat. Uh, yo, yo, yo estoy llamando a algunos a que me ayuden con la clase. Eh, pero eso no quiere decir que los demás no van a estar repitiendo, okay? Todos repitiendo en casa. Okay, porque es sumamente importante que lo hagamos. Okay, así vamos ganando frasecitas todas las noches y vamos mejorando nuestro nuestro aprendizaje. Okay, I will ask another person. Let me see. Héctor Alberto, are you there? Hello, Héctor. Good evening. Is Héctor in the class? Hello, Héctor. Hi. Well, I will check if Hector got into the class later. It is, hello, it is. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, it is. Now you're gonna help me with this part. Please repeat after me. How okay. are you? How are you? How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Great. Now, uh, I I invite Irving. Irving. Hello, Irving. Teacher. Tell me. Excuse me. Tell me. Teacher, uh, I have a good idea. You can view in the, sh in the screenshot in the your window. Uh, oh. You can see the participated uh, for don, para que no se equivoque ahí lo tiene para que vean quiénes están conectados. Ah, uh, oh. superficie la barra, la barra. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the the thing is that Irving, uh, you know, Irving uh, is is because yes, sir, le, me. Le, le voy le voy este a explicar. Yo tengo okay. mi lista acá. Y de yo de un solo estoy pasando este la asistencia de tal manera que no les robo el tiempo para estarlo llamando uno por uno al final y al final solo corroboro quién es estuvo en la sesión y quién no estuvo. 
Entonces, al mismo tiempo estoy tratando yo de, de salvar este, este, el tiempo, ¿ok? Y de que aprovechemos más los 60 minutos. Pero gracias por, por ayudarnos. Yo estoy sumamente agradecido con ustedes porque veo que tienen una actitud eh, de apoyarnos todos. La verdad que eso es, es genial. Thank you. Ok, let me see. Uh, is, ok, okay, thank you. Jorge, Jorge Alberto, please help me with this part. Yeah. Ok, Jorge, uh, repeat after me, please. Negative adjectives. Negative adjectives. Sick. Sick. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Terrible. Miserable. Miserable. All right, thank you. Uh, Jorge David. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Now let's go over the last part. Positive adjectives. Possibly adjectives. Fine. Fine. Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so let's move on to, to the next information. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand Example. side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Subject, the verb. Then we need to put have. Have. Finally, we include a noun. Now, a in headache. this case, a headache. All right. So you see, Let's take a look at... Well, I will make a pause over here. Now, you have head, you know, head, right? Head, ache. Ache is like the pain you feel, right? Headache, headache. Do, do not mispronounce this part. There are some people who say head, headache. No, 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 no. It's not that way. It is headache. All right? One more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. I. Then we need to put have have finally we include the noun we finally include the, the noun right the flu now, now i would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective now we have a different we can follow verb, right? this feel. formula subject plus feel plus adjective let's analyze the example i feel homesick the subject is I, then we need to add feel, Are you going to get there? finally we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful. Terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Teacher, excuse me. Hi. Teacher, you are in mute. Thank you, thank you. All right, so do you have any question about it? If it is correct to say I, I have a fever, yes, it is correct. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Irving. Is it correct the, the use of I feel me? I feel? I feel me. For example, I feel me fantastic. No. No, no I feel I, fantastic. Yeah, I, I feel, uh, or you can say, uh, uh, I feel because, because of uh, 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 me, 
film. Yeah, no, no, don't no. don't say it like that, right? That's a so that is like Spanish, right? So English doesn't work right. that way. You say I feel, and then you include an adjective. That's that it. Means, I feel homesick. Okay. I feel better. I feel fantastic, and that's it. All Thank right. You. Now I will ask right. some of you. Uh, I will ask some of you the way you feel tonight, okay? Because we need to practice uh, at the same time, and there are some people who haven't participated. Jose Luis, how do you feel tonight? Me teacher. Yeah, Jose Luis, how do you feel tonight? Uh, in the morning, okay, in the morning I wake up, I feel very interesting, but in the afternoon very well, in the night I go to a sleep. Uh, okay. Okay, Jose Luis, uh, listen, listen to me. The, the way okay. you, you can answer is, if I ask you, how do you feel tonight, you say, I feel uh, fine, I feel great, I feel terrific, I feel fantastic, right? Let us try to use this part oh. right now, okay? But if you don't feel that good, then you say, I feel sick, I feel awful, I feel terrible, or I feel miserable. Let us try once again, okay? Now, Jose Luis, how do you feel tonight? I feel... Cool. Uh, okay, and very good. You're fine, right? Great. Okay. Uh, Jose Oscar, how do you feel tonight? Uh, I feel great. You feel great? Okay, yes. you feel great. Thank you. Uh, Julio Cesar, how do you feel tonight? Let me see. Catherine Judith, how do you feel tonight? Let's see. Kath Catherine Roxana, how do you feel tonight? Well, there are some people, teacher, absence. she's she facing problem with microphone. All right, thanks for letting me know. Okay, now you see, this is the way for you to ask questions, Why? right? So, hey, what's the matter? What's wrong? So the other person can answer, I have a problem, I have a headache, I don't feel uh, that good, I have a backache, et cetera, right? So I hope that you could notice about this uh, information and that you get more familiarized by uh, practicing the information at home. All right. And now we're going to move on to the next part. I think we have an exercise. This is the 2.3. And this is the knowledge check. Okay. In the knowledge check, we're going to say, uh, we're going to listen. Uh, to a conversation over here. This is a listening. Where do people, where do these people hurt? You know, hurt, hurt is a donde le duele a estas personas. There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation, okay? Now, over here, there are more than one, sometimes maybe like one or two options in the same exercise. It all depends on what we listen to. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, ready. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty good. Some people tell me in the chat that they are almost finishing the, this, this section. Okay, here we go. Everybody pay special attention. Okay, let me see. Let me see what's going on. This is the two, four, right? Oh my goodness. Let me see. The play button. Yeah. I, I would do it once again. Thanks. Okay.
Now, yes, I think we're going to be able to listen to it. Okay, here we go. Page 80, exercise 4. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. 1. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay. Now think Two. about it. And the second one. Ow! Oh, my gosh. Are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Remember? Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Okay. Three. Number three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. And I think there is a last one, Four. right? Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. All right, that was it. Now, did you get the info? Yes, teacher. Yeah, what happened in the first part? What's the problem with the person? The problem with the throat. on the throat. Uh, on the throat. You had a, a, a sore throat. A head. A head. And a headache. Okay. A headache, right? Yes. And a sore throat. Yes. Okay, what about uh, Catherine Judith? What about the second one, Catherine Judith? What can you tell me about conversation number two? Make you exercise tonight. I'm sorry? Well, I, I, I will check later. Okay, let me Stay see. Back. Uh, Katie Tatiana. Second option. Yeah, the, the back key. So the person uh, ha, has problems with her back. Okay. Yes. Only with yes, her yes. back? Elbow. 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 And also with elbow. her elbow. elbow. All right, let me see. Let me see. Katie is not here. Norma Beatriz, please help me with the next part. Uh, dot. He likes um, ice cream, right? But he has problems with his tooth. He has a toothache. Only, only that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. the problem is with his tooth. All right. No. no? Yes, chin. And also the chin. Are you sure? No. Yes. <laughs> no chin. No. No. It, it, it was that face. It's also it, it, it is it is only about the only two. Uh -huh. All right. So then we have what's going on? Let me see. Rebecca Michelle, can you please help me with this yes. part? Hey. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Maybe he's raise or hand. Oh, you, you said he heard something about her wrist and also about her hair. Uh -huh. her oh, head. it's ice hand. No, it's ice. 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 The problem is ice. with the eyes. Ice. 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 Yeah. It is not about her hand. No. No, it, and, no. and neither about her wrist. No. No? Um, I, yeah. Uh, so I include it. Yes. So let us check. Don't worry, because we are going to check it now. Wow, do you did it, right? Look. Then we have, wow. You are great. You don't commit mistakes. Wow, fantastic. You did it. Congrats. Hey, congrats, people. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Thank you. now. Wow, you are doing a great job tonight. Hey, you know, Sam, we're still... Sorry? 
Thanks, mister. I, I'm sorry, Jorge. I don't listen to you very well. Thanks, teacher. All right. Now, yes, I got it. All right. Now, let's move on to the next part. So that I think we still have some time uh, to, to complete this. By the end of this uh, part of the session, you will learn the names of common medication for health problems, okay? And we will see the video. We are going to uh, practice a little bit the vocabulary. And I think it will be enough, right? Ooh, I'm, I'm missing only nine minutes. Let's see if, we, if it is possible for me to finish. Eye drops. Eye drops. Now. I would like for you to no, describe what it. you take when it's for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Common medications. Antacid. People. Antacid. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold drops. Cold pills. Cold pills. Eye drops. Eye drops. Now. I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, when you have a headache, now whenever I have a headache, I think I take aspirin. An aspirin. So that's another whenever expression. I have a cold, I take. And then you mention, right? So whenever I have a cold. As many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So that, that is a little bit uh, simple, right? It's not that difficult. So what have you, what is, where is your job over here? What is the activity uh, over here? You have to make sure you have to write down information about uh, the medicine you take whenever you feel, and then then you mention, right? Whenever I feel um, a headache, I feel bad, I take some, or I drink some um, coffee, for example, or whenever I have a headache, I take a, an aspirin, okay? Whenever I have a stomachache, what do you take when you have a stomachache? Take a <laughs> Do you remember no. about something that is called a caselser? <laughs> yes or no? Yes, <laughs> yes, right. Right. yes. Hey, but but the majority of people take some pepto small, right? So, <laughs> so that, that that was fantastic. Hey, you you see, uh, the time is almost over. I will check the list of attendance just to finish, and we will continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Solo voy a solo voy a corroborar. Me faltaron algunos dos personas. No no pude no me alcanzó el tiempo, pero yo espero que ellos hayan participado de de igual manera. Recuérdense que todos son libres de participar y este es más, yo les hago la invitación a que lo hagan eh, frecuentemente. Pero este veo acá que Héctor Adalberto no no lo pude ver o no lo pude escuchar. No sé si está en la clase. Hello, hello, teacher. Ah, okay, Hector. Okay. okay, Hector. Very good. Eh, veamos otra persona. Julio César. Ah, Julio César, yeah, sí es. Ah, okay, ya, ya lo veo ahí, pero quizás tuvo problemas con, con micrófono, no sé. Sí. Uh, me imagino. Okay, Catherine, yeah, Catherine Judith. No, ella sí, no, no, no la escucho. Catherine, veo a Catherine Roxana, pero no veo a Catherine Judith. Ok. Uh, Reina Concepción. Hello, teacher. Hello, Reina. Eh, Salvador Galdames. Hi, teacher. Hi, Salvador. Ok, very good. Now you see. Ya ven que es muy efectivo esa manera de estar este, solicitando apoyo en la clase y al mismo tiempo nos ahorramos este, eh, algún espacio para poder terminar la clase de una mejor manera. No sé si tienen alguna, alguna pregunta respecto a lo que nosotros estudiamos ahora. 
les hago la invitación a que, fíjense bien, eh, eh, um, invertimos pues, prácticamente 60 minutos en la clase, más sin embargo, yo considero que el tiempo es muy, muy corto. Una hora diaria, ok, está bien, pero este, ustedes en el lapso del día, yo siempre se los he dicho que mientras más se enamoren de inglés y lo empiecen a practicar en diferentes tiempos del día, porque como yo sé que ustedes son, son personas ocupadas, pues eh, va a ser mucho, mucho más rápido su aprendizaje. Ok, les invito a que no se queden solo con la sesión, sino que más bien que, que ustedes investiguen más acerca de los temas. Yo, por ejemplo, ahí en, en WhatsApp les coloqué ahora uh, un enlace para que se familiarizaran con, con lo que íbamos a estudiar ahora. Eh, ese, ese enlace, pues, no, no lo vean solo una vez. Ok, por ejemplo, aquí Jorge me dice eh, que él escucha música y mira series. Eh, para, en inglés, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, en inglés, para estar siempre en, co en contacto con el idioma. Otra clave que también he visto que funciona, yo voy a mencionar una, y ustedes me dicen qué es lo que le funciona a ustedes eh, durante el día. Vaya, bajar una aplicación es muy útil, ¿verdad? Aunque, aunque la temática no sea de lo que nosotros estamos tratando directamente, pero usted está familiarizado con el idioma. No sé si alguien más puede dar otro tip de estudio. ¿Cómo hacen en el día para practicar? I practice with my friends. Ok, oigan, eso está perfecto. Yo practico con, mi, con mis amigos. Fantástico. En la oficina. ¿En la oficina? En inglés. ¿Practica inglés en la oficina? Música en inglés. Hoy. Ah, ok, escuchar música en inglés está perfecto. ¿Alguien? Uh, uh, a mí me gusta practicar poniéndole atención a las tres que a mí me gustan. Cómo hablan ellos el inglés para afinar el oído. Y también siento que practico cuando escribo las oraciones y, y también cuando investigo el significado de cada palabra. Exacto. También esta es otra forma. Exacto, sí. miren cómo nos estamos apoyando, estamos invirtiendo estos últimos cinco minutos en algo muy provechoso y si estuviera pasando la lista yo ahorita, perdiéramos esta oportunidad y este, fíjense otra cosa, quiero ver por aquí dice Ver películas también, que ya ah. te podés en español, traducidas en, en Ver inglés, películas, en, en ok, Netflix. fantástico Ver película. Hey, ah, por ahí alguien mencion, mencionó algo respecto a escuchar a las personas nativas, ¿verdad? Eh, las yeah. personas que nacieron en Estados Unidos, ustedes saben Fisher, que ellos son. Eso, eso le quería comentar. Yo tengo una alumna que es mi vecina y ella está en noveno grado y con ella me pongo a convers conversar bastante. Perfecto. Eh, ella es nacida allá y se vino ya grande. Uh -huh. Ella habla perfectamente el idioma, entonces sí. esos son, este, miren, interactuamos con ellos, la pasamos bien y al mismo tiempo practicamos. Hoy se Así. rió de mí porque le dije, yo quiero decirte mi cumpleaños en inglés y le dije <risa> otra cosa. Y no, profe, no voy a decir, no, es, no voy a decir. No voy a decir eso. <risa> No sé qué le dije, pero, pero eh, así me dijo. No vaya a decirlo así, me dice. Que no okay. así. Yo también practiqué con mi hija que sabe hablar inglés. Oh, ya ven, de aquí mismo están saliendo como algunos tips para, para mejorar, para practicar el inglés. Eh, no solo durante estos 60 minutos. Uh, ok. Eso está perfecto si ustedes tienen familiares que hablan el idioma y pues comuníquense más seguido con ellos, chaten en inglés con ellos, hagan sus videollamadas en inglés con ellos. Eh, a ellos les, ellos se sienten muy bien cuando miran que uno está haciendo el esfuerzo por aprender el idioma y lo apoyan a uno. Eso es muy, muy bonito. Sí, es 
No tener o sea, pena sobre todo. No tener pena sobre todo, eso está súper. No tener pena sobre todo. Bueno, este, ha sido un placer volver a verles, volver a interactuar con ustedes. Y eh, se nos terminó la hora, espero verlos mañana. Bendiciones a todos. Okay. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.